Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Jocelyn Lovely Tarot. So good to see you guys here today. Today's reading is going to be for my Leos. If you guys resonate with the video, like, share, and subscribe. Holy shit, I just felt like this... It's really hard pain. Not pain, but like I felt like a frequency change in my ear. Like the tones are going... Anyway, sorry. Alright, this reading is a little harsh. Not harsh, but like... Um, it's... You know what, let me just let me just read it, okay? We're starting off with the Ace of Pentacles. This is you. Weaving and constructing your life and seeing the potential of the things that you've wanted in your life and try to fit them in. Whether that's forcefully or gently, it doesn't matter, right? Because it's a gorgeous, gentle area where you can create and there's no limits to what you can create, what, what you can learn from this, right? What you can try to build with it. What belongs, what doesn't, right? But here you are. This was you, right? Really focusing on, on achieving or gaining whatever that was or adding to your life uh, whatever it was so that you can come out victorious. That's, that's what humans do, right? We set a goal. If there's something we like, we set a goal and we go after it ourselves. Whether it's a good goal or a bad goal, whether it's good for us, whether it's bad for us, that's debatable. I'm not here to judge what your dreams are, if they're good, if they're bad. It's not my place to say, but um, ultimately, only you can judge yourself, right? And here you are as the king of pentacles. This is you looking at the thing that you've wanted more than anything. This has spoken to you. This, this desire has been with you since the beginning, okay? Probably since you were a kid. You've wanted this, whatever this is, desire, this goal, this need is it's it's the thing that that's probably has plagued you your whole life because you've never been able to achieve this not that you haven't tried again this i'm telling you this was always you the ace of pentacles energy going all out putting all the stops out to make sure you attain what you want and yet here you are so close it's so close and yet you cannot achieve it you cannot have it um maybe you could Maybe you could. Maybe, let, let's switch this up. What I'm getting more is you could have this, but the detriment it's going to cause to your body, your mind, your soul, your heart, it, it comes at a cost. So far, it seems to me like you've been trying so hard to not only grow, right? Because you've grown. But it's almost as if you realize that the things that you've been going after or wanting or secretly wanting, secretly obsessed about are not good for you. And so here you are having to humble yourself and rely on what's healthy to help you not want or desire this thing that you've been plagued by, you've been like obsessed with for your whole life. And now it's like you're being told that that's not healthy for you. Do you want to continue going after that dream of yours that will potentially harm you in the long run? Or do you start over and let go? Sometimes the things that we want aren't good for us, especially the people that have grown up, you know, um, in rough situations. We tend to desire things that are not the best for us, right? And here you are at the Six of Wands energy, praying for the willingness to let go and having to let go. And understanding that that's just at the cost. It's at the cost of everything. You've sacrificed everything for this one pleasure thing that you wanted. And, and here you are being told that it's your choice. But do you still want to keep hurting yourself by ch going after this one thing? Right? And so you say, no. For once in my life, I'm choosing me. Or maybe for the fifth, sixth, seventh time, I'm choosing me. Right? Because there's always options. There's always this, this option, decision is always going to be there available for you if you choose to go for it. But every single day you say no to this, you're choosing a different path. And that's the whole point. It's like you making a conscious decision to say no and be healthier, even if it's just for today. It's, it's, it's actually helping you change your thought process. Uh, it's helping you stay away from things that are not good for you. And it's helping you grow overall, right? Sometimes we don't get what we want. And uh, sometimes we end up 
being open or maybe because we don't get what we want we don't we don't stay open we stay closed and resentful and hurt but then whenever we're ready to let that go and be open we don't know what can come in it could be something that's actually healthy for us better for us in the long run maybe it's not going to make us feel better right away but it's something that will be stable foundational helpful supportive for us um i know that still doesn't change your thought process it doesn't change the fact that you still want whatever this is it could be a person it could be people places or things right but but it's it's it doesn't change the fact that you're always going to want this. You're secretly always going to be begging for this. Because it's what you're used to. And it's what you love. It's what you crave. It's pleasure. Whatever form that looks like to you, right? Whether that's expensive shopping or people that you know you need to stay away from, right? So, you are with justice. Choosing, ju again, making the right choice just by today. Not tomorrow, not yesterday, today. You're bringing in justice for yourself. And of course, justice doesn't look like the way we imagine it to. It just comes as it comes. And sometimes, yes, judgment and justice. Well, that could be judgment. Okay. For justice, I feel like this isn't the justice you feel right away. It's the justice you feel within three, four, five months from now because you understand the bigger picture. Um, it's It's what it is. It's a harsh truth to 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 admit to ourselves. It's almost as if you're receiving with this picture newsflash to newsflash. What you want is not enough anymore. You can do better. You can have better. It's almost as if it's divine and your guides telling you you can have better. You can wish for better. You can want better. Um, but do you make the decision to commit to that? Even if it's just for the day. And here you are with the full energy, right? Committing to that. Allowing the light to come in and shine and the truth to come in and expose you in all parts of you, whether that's the part of you that's hurt or sad or beaten down or just not shame, but just um, resentful that you have to sacrifice all the time. The things that you really want for the things that are better for you. That's life. That's everyday life, right? We all fight the devil some way, somehow. And here you are being exposed, uh, healing healing right because there's parts of you that want this whatever this is that's not good for you these parts of you are still alive and they need to be healed and you need to figure out why you still want something like this when it's not good for you why and here you are trying to figure it out or discover it or hear the right words or whatever it is seek the right counsel and guidance Here's the Eight of uh, Swords, right? This reminds me of the heart card, the most potent thing in the world. It's your vitality, it's your heart. Here it is, exposed and raw. How many times have you sacrificed your heart uh, or your well-being for the short term, for the needs, right? The personal needs of yourself. How many times have you hurt yourself? Just to gain the things that you thought you needed more than what's better for you. And here you are understanding that you cannot, you can no longer keep doing that to yourself. You're tired of hurting yourself. You're tired of seeking the same expectations only to get the same results. I mean, seeking to get different results, right? Um, seeking for something different and then just getting the same results over and over. It's it's pointless. It's It's exhausting. It's like you're drained. I think you just went at this for too long and realized you're never going to get it, so you just gave up. You're like, screw this, this isn't worth my time. So here you are sitting in your own energy, the one with yourself and source, and realizing that there's a lot here to uncover and unpack if you choose to. Yes, you can always go back to this. This is never. This is options always going to stay there because it's your temptation. Or you can stay here in this lighter, brighter energy that leads you to the core of what you really want long term what's sane whole and safe for you all right um that's all i have for you guys i love you bye mm -hmm.